Hello, family. Look back. We have stumbled on some strange cube. While we were walking through the woods, we came across someone's territory. I suggest we all look together at what's going on out there and why it's even here. I became very interested because it is a very strong obsidian cube and just cannot break it. Most likely there is something secret. Oh my god, it's really a strange structure. Don't you think it could be a trap for people like us who want to see what's in it for the sake of interest? I don't think it's a good idea to step into someone else's territory, but if you insist, you might as well see what it is because the passage is open to everyone. Family, I'm very curious about what's in there. I think an open passageway won't just be left there, and it's just a kind of protection for some building that's there. Let's just go and see what's out there because if we don't, we'll never know. All right, let's go see what's on the other side of this big cube. Wow, it's getting so dark. Wow, it's a protected village under a big obsidian dome. It looks like the people of this village don't like light and have built one here. Very interesting, you want to get to know this village. Look around and see what is there. It's so beautiful and unusual. It looks like it's day outside and it's always dark because of the dark obsidian. It's just not transferable feelings. I want to walk around and see what this village is. I hope we will not be locked in here forever and we will live here as a separate world. It would be very terrible because we will never see the light again. There is in fact everything for normal living. There are vegetable gardens with plants and a lot of houses cozy for every inhabitant of this village. Very nice everything is arranged here. If I'm honest, I would stay here for a while, but definitely not for life. Oh my God. Family, something closes us from within and now we can't get out of here. What shall we do? Oh no. Family, we have to decide what to do because if we stay here for the rest of our lives, it'll be the worst remnants of our lives. After all, we will spend this time in complete darkness and a lonely village with the inhabitants. Papa Pig, don't worry. There's definitely some way out of this situation. Obsidian is definitely not thighs, so I think we can dig through caves and look for resources to make a pickaxe. There's even a lot of trees and resources for everything. We just need to extract diamonds and make a diamond pickaxe. I don't think we'll have much trouble. Parents, I think it should have. Looks like we're about to start some kind of quest and they're gonna offer us some way out. Let's run around this precinct and look for any unusual items or clues to escape from here. 100% should be the way out of this cube and it's pretty unusual. Agree with me, George? <laughs> I will run to explore the village from the farthest edge where the houses end. Suddenly there is something interesting. The village is so small and there are not so many residents here. I hope they are comfortable here at all. Here, a house has fallen into the ground and the resident stayed to live right inside the house. Not only does he live in a cube, he still cannot leave his house. Pity him. Wow, these gardens are so big. All right, well, I'm gonna take a walk through this little piece of forest. There are such big trees here, whether they planted them themselves here, or it is left of the ordinary world without a cube and just covered this village with this sarcophagus. It is very interesting to walk here, can be considered as your personal green corner, which will never break or contaminate. <laughs> I found some strange house with an open door. There's even some kind of look there sign. I think Peppa was right, and this is really some kind of puzzle. Oh my god! There's some kind of chest here. There's not going to be any solution soon. Wow! There is a key here that unlocks some door. We should urgently find this door and see what happens next. Family, I found some weird key card, and now we'll have to find the door it unlocks. No, Dad. Personally, I didn't see anything like a card reader. I was in the woods of that cube, but I didn't find anything interesting there. Very cool that you were able to find the key. We are already a little bit closer to solving this cube. Dad, Dad, I saw something unusual and like a card reader. Hurry up and follow me. Now I'll show you where it is. Drive and show me where it is. I can't wait to discover anything new with this map. Oh my god. Really, here is a reader of maps. It's a good thing he's out in the open. It's a little easier for us. So let's check this map and it's all open. There's a sign here. It says trap door. And I think this hatch is disguised as this block of rock. Oh my god. It is. We fall down and immediately notice a new sign signed staircase. I think there's some hidden staircase here too, so I can get out. There's also a chest here and I found a book. Wow, there's so much written here. If you look at the summary, it says he's the anonymous person who did this quest. And now we're gonna have to find some sequel where there are no houses and not in the village at all. He probably means the forest next to this village. 
Family. I found an unusual book in this house, and that was our first clue to the quest. We need to find clues that come from the forest that is near this village. Anyone has seen anything unusual in this forest? If yes, then say what. Any unusual thing fits. We need to check it out. Dad, Dad, I think I saw something in the tree, and it's not at all what it should be. You could say that in the dark oak tree there were logs of ordinary oak, and I think that's the clue. Let's go there now and see what it holds. Peppa, you're such a tracker. As soon as they told you to find something, you remembered it. It is very wonderful that you have such a good visual memory and you can reason. Good girl, hurry up and see what's there. <laughs> Now, somewhere here was this place. Now I'm going to find it. Oh, this is the place. See what this tree looks like. Let me now break down and see what is there. I think there is some kind of underground passage through which we can get out. Oh, manhole and fall from a height into the water. It's very exciting. Jump quickly behind me. Here, everything looks very unusual. It looks like an ordinary village. And here in the dungeons is a very rich bunker. I think the picture's here for a reason. There's some kind of chest with a lot of books. It looks like we need to find one that fits, and I found it right by the name. This book says this time it's the second clue, and this time we're going to need to find a password for this door that's right next to us. And most importantly, we need to pay attention to the paintings. I knew that they are here for a reason. Wow, this looks like the end of the line, because there's no ordinary way out of here. And either way, there's something out there that's going to get us out on the street for this cube, and we're going to make this quest. At least I hope so. Hurrah! Hurrah! We are coming to the end of the quest. It is smart enough, but at the same time a little short. But we have not completely solved it. So now we will pay attention to the paintings. There are so many of them. You will have to think well. Try to think of something, Dad. <laughs> so, you have to look at all the paintings first. There are very large and smaller and even square. They mean something, and you need to understand what... Oh! The code consists of four characters and types of paintings in room four. I think we need to calculate the number of each species, and this will get the digits of the code we need. Only these numbers will have to be put in order. So we have the numbers one, two, and two fours. Now we need to put these four numbers in the correct order in the code. Let's try first two, one, four. Oh, it doesn't fit. Then let's try four, two, one, four. Oh, it doesn't fit again. Okay, let's then try 4124. Four. Hurrah! This code came up and we went to the final room. Is there a railroad up here and we'll need a trolley? All right, now we just need to put up some trolleys for everyone and we can get out of here. Finally, it happened. And now we're gonna get out of here. How fast the rails move the trolley here. It is very fun and enjoyable, especially when you get out again. How wonderful to see the light and look away.